sedentary lifestyle obviously is something that all cultures are dealing with, but the metabolic consequences in South Asians has been much more severe and drastic. And the good news is you can still be a software engineer or be a sedentary employee and make changes that are embedded into your daily life that can actually reduce those risks. When it comes to your diet, some of my highest risk patients are actually vegetarian Indians. They're not eating any dietary fat at all. Their disease is coming from eating rice, flatbreads, lentils, and excessive amounts of high energy carbohydrate foods. So just dialing down that can make dramatic uh, impact. When you find out that a lot of the common fats in your diet that you to be afraid of like key and coconut oil and coconut milk are actually um, a healthy part of your traditional South Asian diet, you're going to find that your risk numbers are going to be reduced. The second thing is really making sure you incorporate some amount of physical activity in your life. And it doesn't have to be going to a gym and getting in your cardio workouts three to four times a week. Just walking and playing with family, getting more steps per day can be critical things that you can do in the context of the right type of diet. And the book is culturally tailored with a lifestyle plan, exercise plan, and a way to really manage stress and all the personal challenges South Asians face living all over the world. Almost every Asian Indian has a family member that's had early heart disease or diabetes and they think they're genetically predestined to follow that same pattern. But we found with these lifestyle interventions you can reduce those genetic risks and really increase longevity, lifespan, and improve quality of life.